This video will cover using tags to create meaningful asset groupings for the purpose of identifying gaps in scan coverage and leveraging additional data sources. First, navigate to the Tags section. The first set of tags we create will relate to the type of data gathered on our assets. When creating a new tag, we must first define a category. We will call this one data gathering. For the value, we will start with identifying assets which have Nessus scan data but no data from the Nessus network monitor. We will call the value Nessus without NNM. We can dynamically apply these tags to assets by clicking the checkbox. For the filter criteria, we want to define the source as coming from Nessus. We also want to define another filter which ensures the assets do not have the Nessus network monitor data. Click Create. Assets matching this tag can give you an idea of where to place additional Nessus network monitors to passively monitor your assets in between scans. Now, let's repeat the process to identify assets which have Nessus network monitor data but no Nessus scan data. We'll choose the existing data gathering category and add a value of NNM without Nessus. Set the source filters to contain NNM and not contain Nessus. Assets matching this tag will help you identify the gaps in your Nessus deployments or gaps in your scheduled scan coverage. Next, we'll identify assets which do not have any vulnerability data associated with them at all. Choose the existing category and define a value as no vulnerability data. We will exclude all sources of vulnerability data, which include agents, Nessus Network Monitor, and Nessus. These assets are not covered by any sensor at all and present an unknown risk to your organization. We can also leverage integrations for tagging purposes. Let's create a set of tags specific to Amazon Web Services. For the tag category, we'll call it AWS. For the value, we'll identify all assets in the United States. Create multiple filters for US-based AWS regions. Be sure to change the operator to any. Lastly, let's identify all US-based AWS resources which have not been scanned by Nessus. Use the existing category and create a new value such as United States No Nessus Data. For the filter, use the existing tag we just created as well as a filter for No Nessus Data. These tags can help you identify gaps in your asset coverage regardless of where they exist and help you decide where to deploy additional sensors. You can filter on these tags from the Assets Workbench.